Welcome to Prep and Data for any new challenges. This is our first challenge of 2022 and the aim is to build up um, the difficulty of these challenges so it's suitable for beginners at this moment in time and we hope that you're enjoying getting involved. So let's take a look at our first data set. So we have the names of pupils um, and their parents and we want to clean up this data set a little bit, make it a bit easier for the prep school to use. So first of all, we want to create the pupil name in the format of their last name and their first name separated by a comma. So the way that we do that, we use the create calculated field button at the top here. And then if we take a look at what's written there, we have the pupil last name field. And then we've got a plus in order to help concatenate those strings together. Um, and in between quotation marks, we've got a comma and then a space and then another plus and the pupil's first name. So that field creates for us in this example, for example, this Ronan Nellies. Then we can see that her first name and last name are here. So last name first, comma, space, first name. So that is our first requirement achieved. Next, we need to create their parental contact name. And the way that we do that is we have these two fields here, this parental contact name one, parental contact name two. Of course, they'll have the same last name as the pupil. And then this field, this parental contact tells us whether we should include the first parental contact or the second one as the parental contact. So uh, the way that we do that, we're going to use an if calculation. So very similar to the first one, except we're also using an if calculation. So if the parental contact equals one, then we're going to do the last name of the pupil plus that comma space and plus the parental contact name one. Otherwise, if it's a two, we just do exactly the same expression, but with um, the second parental contact name. And that gives us that field. So, for example, for this Rononelli's, we have um, that we want the first parental contact. So this one, so Purcell Nellies, that is going to be um, the name of the parental contact. Okay, then with this information, we want to create the parent email address so that it's a lot easier to just email the parents uh, the information that we need. So again, we're using a calculated field. And if I open up that calculation that we've done, we're using that if um, again, and we're saying if that parental contact is one, then we want to take the first parental contact name plus a, a full stop, a period, a point, whatever you like to call that, plus the pupil last name, then plus an at sign in quotation marks, plus the preferred contact employer and plus dot com. So that's the string that we're writing there. And the else statement is exactly the same, except for you've got that parent or contact name two at the start instead. Okay. Next, and our final thing that we need to do is look at the academic year. This is definitely a little bit more complicated. So what we're doing is duplicating the date of birth field. So the way that you duplicate a field is if you clicked on that field, so you can see the blue box around the field there, blue box around it down there as well. Then there's a duplicate field option in the top row, or we can right click on a field and there'll be a duplicate field option there. Lots of different ways, but basically we're duplicating the date of birth and that will give us a date of birth dash one field. And then we're going to go to the convert dates option and choose the custom fiscal year. So this will mean that we want our year number to begin at the start of September. So you can see in the example that years are defined as the 1st of September to the 31st of August of the following year. And when we do that, then what we get is this following field where we get just the years. And basically the latest year that we have here, we want to number this with a one and we want to number the oldest children as being in the later years in school. So I chose to do this using a rank calculation. So I went to the create calculated field option of that field and chose to create a rank. And you can see that we've got our date of birth dash one being sorted in a descending 
order. So the biggest one at the top, the lowest one down below. Now it changes to be a dense rank and we get that one, two, three, four numbering. So the youngest children are in the youngest year. The oldest children are in the oldest year. OK, I'm just going to delete that because I already have that here and that gives me my academic year field. So all that's left to do is remove the unnecessary fields. We only want to keep the academic year, pupil name, parental full name and their parental email address. And we're ready to output our data. So hopefully you enjoyed this challenge um, and please do come back for um, the next challenge in this beginner series. Thanks very much for watching.